Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. Saturday the 12th of August 2023. I'm back for a game of Sudoku at bedtime. Uh, a supplementary game. I haven't played a fourth puzzle for ages. I think at least a week. Uh, it feels like at least a week anyway since the last time I played a fourth game in a single day. Uh, but let's get on with it today. Um, if you are a black drug pusher in the United States of America, you will face the harshest punishment. Cops will be down on you like a ton of bricks. The legal justice system will probably lock you up forever and uh, your life will be a, a hell of a mess. On the other hand, if you are a very rich, white, wealthy family drug pusher um, from the Sacklers, well, all you get to do is to uh, make your company redundant. And, um, you know, uh, that's about it, really. Uh, suffer financial loss of some kind. But, of course, rich people like that can always put money I mean, rich people when rich people go bankrupt rich people like that when they go bankrupt never become poor do they because they've always got money in various countries stashed away uh, they will never be poor never be broke they'll never know financial hardship so uh, it's really meaningless the fact that they've lost some money uh, on, on paper um but uh, there is some uh, appeal. They, uh, if you haven't been up with the case, uh, the Purdue um, of the of Purdue, um, there actually has been an appeal against the the uh, bankruptcy decision that was given to them, or the the Justice Department worked out a decision that was cost them a lot of money on paper, as I said, but you know meant that they didn't have to do any kind of uh, punishment. Physi uh, personal punishment um, that's not financial. I mean, for example, you didn't have to do any jail time or community service or anything like that. And it was a very favorable deal to them. And uh, the, it w that was a class action lawsuit. But um, it seems that people have appealed against it. And now it's off to the Supreme Court. Of course, with this particular Supreme Court, with its Clarence Thomases, I know there's only one of them, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, I mean, they, they love uh, the life of the wealthy and are influenced by wealthy people. Um, I don't suppose there's much chance of anything happening about it. But anyway, <laughs> such is America as it stands at the moment. Right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku from the Los Angeles Times. Now, this is the hard level game. Now, earlier on today, I played the expert level game. It was a very easy game. So I'm expecting this to be more difficult. Uh, if you're new to Sudoku and this channel and haven't played the LA Times hard level before, assuming that the expert level is always more difficult, I have to tell you that is definitely not true. S quite often we've found on this channel not just me, other commenters have also noted that the hard level can be more difficult than the expert level, despite what the name implies. Anyway, um, so I've put a two here, uh, as you will have noted. Uh, one, five, nine. And there we are. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already thinking it could be uh, trickier than the earlier game, which was very easy all the way through. Fours block like this. That's going to put four there. Four going up here, and up here, which will place a four into that square. Then we'll continue with the fours across, with a four up here, and say you're a four, and up and down over here and across will give us four there and four across here and across here looks like we've got the fours out of the way nice and early thank you for for your service come back again tomorrow
Do you know what? There are no nines on the board. There are no digit nines. So yes, this game is definitely going to be trickier than the earlier one, I think. Okay, we've got sixes blocking across like this, though. Uh, I was looking for stuff around. I was looking for the nines and just realized, hey, can't find any. Hmm, okay. Six blocking up here, so six is in one of those squares. Blocking down here, six blocking down here. That has to be a six. Then six is across, across here, down there. There's a six. Seven blocking across this row and this row gives us a seven over here. Seven going up and up and across there means that that's a seven. I mean, we have two, eight, nine in these squares, um, but I don't know how that helps me. Um, the ones, okay, ones are like this, and down here. not sure uh, again what did I say two uh, I forgot what I said two eight nine right um, so then the threes are in these squares let's see if we can do anything on threes ah that's good threes across here we can get a three there Um, okay, fives are in the corner squares like that, and seven, ah, one and seven, okay, right, okay, this is, okay, here we go, ladies and gentle folk, uh, we have 
two, eight, and nine in these squares here, right? Now we have one and seven blocking across here, so we have one and seven in those squares, which doesn't help me much. But we have one and seven here, and these are the other numbers, which are not two, five, and nine, so must be... Um, I'm running out, I can't, I can't work it out. <laughs> 25917, so I'm looking for 3, which is going to be here, and 25917, uh, 5 is going to be in that square there. So five somewhere along here. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go through the digits one by one, see if I can spot anything useful. Ah, six up here now. Six up here. Yeah, er early on I spotted the sixes in those two squares, but um, obviously that's changed now. Okay. Six is finished. Still no nines to click on. Ah, okay. 
uh, we don't have five and three in this row yet. Oh, or I could just do it like this. Three is blocking across here like this and a three up there. So that'll be three. And then the five blocks these squares here. So that'll be five. Five down here. And across these two rows, there's a five, five down here and down here, there's a five. Two blocking down here and across there, there's our two now then. Two up here, two down there. There's a two. Two across here, down here, up there. There's another two. Two across here, across here. There's a two. Two blocking down here and across here. There's a two. Two up, two down, across, across. Twos are out of the way now. 8 and 9 here. Still don't have any 9s on the board. And I don't have an intersecting 8 yet. That's going to be 8, 9. That's 8, 9. Uh, 3 blocking across here and up there. Gives me a 3 in that square. 3 across here and 3 down here. 3s are finished. Seven up here, down here, there's a seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Seven across here, seven up there. There's a seven. Seven up here, seven across here, there's a seven. And uh, finally we can get this number, can't we? So missing from here is one and nine. So this is going to be eight. Eight blocks down here giving us the eight in that square. 9 will have to be one of our missing numbers, so this can't be 9. So now, at last, after all this, we get our first 9. And uh, we'll also get 1 in that square here. 1 blocking up puts 1 into that square. 1 across here and 1 across here means that's our digit 1. 1 across here and 1 down here means there's a further 1. 1 up here puts 1 into this square, 1 across here, 1 up there finishes the 1s. And five blocks this square here, so that is our 5, then 5 blocking down here, down here. There is our 5, 5 across here means there's 5. And we only have 8 and 9 to get. Everything is finished except 8 and 9. So when we see the 8 here, we know that's going to be 9. That's going to be 8. That's going to be 9. And where else? Where else? Where else? Where else? Uh, we've got the 8 here. So that's a 9. That's an 8. That's a 9. That's an 8. That's a 9. That's an 8. That's a 9, that's an 8. Oh, this is very unusual. 9 goes here and 8 goes there. And a 9 finishes the game. Very unusual pattern that to finish. Uh, weird to get so far without those two, digi two digits. Okay, uh, that's my late night Sudoku. You're, I can go off to bed now and you can in carry on enjoying your weekend assuming you're on a different time zone. And uh, see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye.